Now this is a first for me, I'm on the FICEP stand, I'm with Jan here. We're going to be looking at this machine, which is a, a Gemini HPE. Now this is hybrid technology. I talk about plasma a lot, and that's what this machine is, but it's something else as well. Uh, Jan, yeah, tell us about the hybrid technology here and why you've introduced this. We have introduced this technology due to the fact that uh, more and more we have a request in the, in the steel construction market for many different uh, operations. This is why uh, this machine is a very and uh, flexible solution, having a drilling head uh, uh, in, the, uh, in the machine equipped with uh, high performance drilling operation. So we can perform milling drilling and marking operation and of course the thermal cutting in order to achieve a final product for our customer in order to allow uh, the customers to don't manipulate too much the, the, the plates. I think the, the, the word I was sort of thinking here is versatility. You've got so much opportunity here, haven't you, to, to take away any manual handling of, of the parts as they go through the process. Are you one of the only ones to offer this type of solution? I've not seen it before. Correct. We are the only one that we have introduced this kind of uh, technology. This is why the project of the machine itself is a drilling machine. So that's why the drilling head is supported by the, the twin bridge and we can apply the thermal cutting solution uh, just outside. So this is why the drilling head having an additional stroke of 250 mm allow the operation of milling and marking in a very fast way. So we can say that this is the fastest and the most flexible solution for plate processing in the world. Because, it, because it's quicker to drill a hole than it is to plasma cut one out, isn't it? It's correct, but it's uh, due to the quality that we have to achieve uh, on the whole and uh, due to the standards uh, uh, in the construction and steel construction that we have to achieve. So this is why drilling the hole we have a perfect uh, uh, cylindric uh, uh, hole without having a conic shape uh, that is uh, the result, uh, by the way, uh, by the plasma. That is not so nice and uh, this is the way we are, uh, we are going now. I get it because the plasma machines aren't quite as capable, are they, to, to cut to tolerance as you would get with a drill or, or an end mill. I mean, you're doing some circular interpolating in there as well, aren't they? What does, what's the sort of accuracy of holes that you can create? We, uh, we can achieve, uh, between the group uh, of uh, the same hole and the same group of hole, we can achieve 0.1 millimeter tolerances. So this is why I can say that even for the performances of drilling that we have achieved, we are sometimes in some operation even faster than plasma. And of course, we are considering in this machine even the running cost. Instead of doing the hole by plasma, it is a very expensive operation instead of doing by drill. So we achieve a best quality and the less running cost. Can I do one more question? Can both areas run at the same time? Can you drill at the same time as your plasma cutting? No, because uh, the plasma needs different speeds and different uh, dynamics instead of the drilling. So everything works off of the same sort of axes, doesn't it, or the same bridge? Correct. So the standard way to process the plate usually is to process all the drilling operation on the plates and after to uh, finalize all the all the played by, by the cutting operation. Anyway, the machine uh, is able to be uh, programmed in a way that the, can be, the cycle can be uh, changed or can be anyway. You, you can adapt it to whatever the, the parts and the production you uh, It's a world, it's the first time we've seen this and it is the only one, as Jan said, around the world. Hybrid technology here, plasma and drilling, threading and all those other elements of processes.